everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I have like four more days of my junior year of college, which is absolutely insane. I'm filming this video a little bit later than I normally do, but to be honest, I have no idea what classes I'm taking next semester. I kind of have an idea, but for the first time in a while, I'm not certain. Um, I have my current schedule laid out here, um, but like I said, I don't feel confident in it. I think a lot's gonna change. Um, there's a lot up in the air before I kind of finalize things, but I thought today we could go through tentatively what I will be taking and kind of where my predicaments lie, just because I think from like freshman year, I don't know, maybe more like start of sophomore year, I felt like I knew exactly what I was gonna be taking every semester. Um, and I'm proud and I'm glad that I planned things out when I did because I know most seniors kind of end up in a pickle. Um, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I'm still gonna graduate on time as long as I pass all my classes, but um, it's mostly a question of <sighs> finishing my minor, taking grad classes, that sort of thing. So without further ado, let's just get started. If any of you have looked into the aerospace curriculum at CU Boulder your senior year, it's pretty relaxed, honestly. Um, you'll take propulsion one semester and then you'll take senior design each semester. So um, you don't like take it twice. It's just like continued on. So that's a year long class. Aside from that, it's basically just finishing up professional area electives, which most students end up using to get a minor, um, maybe finishing some humanities classes, that sort of thing. I packed my schedule relatively tight end of my freshman year and beginning a sophomore year and then I also took a summer class during my freshman year summer between freshman and sophomore year so that really opened up a lot of freedom for me um I don't know I guess this time of year and senior year on top of already coming in with calc one credit so I didn't have to take that um, that's a whole separate video. You guys already know what transfer credit I use, what classes I retook, that sort of thing. But I came in with enough credit that I have so much flexibility from the CU like suggested schedule, which is really nice. But there are a lot of things I've changed and kind of taken my own path with. Um, like I mentioned, I'm kind of in a little bit of a predicament now, um, just debating what I want to do. Before we jump into this, just a little bit of preface. I am three classes away from the comp sci minor. I've taken five so far, I think. Um, one of them doesn't directly count for the minor, which is a bummer, but it's a prereq for another class I wanted to take. Um, but either way, I still have three classes left of my comp sci minor, which sucks, honestly. Um, I also am dead set on grad school, um, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I want to get my PhD. The only hesitation I have right now is if I don't get in the first time, how many times I'm willing to try again, um, just because it is such a long program. And there's kind of, kind of a time limit on things when you're a girl if you want to have kids. So that's in the back of my mind. But regardless, I'm not 100% certain what I want to do in grad school though. Um, I work in an autonomous systems lab that I love, but I also don't love coding all the time. I like MATLAB, but I don't love like C++ and Python. Like I feel like real coding where you're doing things with like pointers and classes and I, I don't know that much. MATLAB I feel like is basically just like math and simulations and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I want to do autonomous systems or not for grad school. But I love fluids and aerodynamics. I'm just not very good at thermo. So my predicament comes down to A, do I take a summer class? B, do I take some grad classes in the fall or the spring to help me decide what I want to do for grad school? Um, C, do I drop the comp sci minor and just dedicate next year towards having a lighter class schedule and taking grad classes? Um, that sort of thing. So without further ado, there's a little preface, a little backstory. Let's just get started. Like I mentioned, there are only two required aerospace senior level classes, but there are many more I'm interested in taking. So yeah, we'll hop in. 
First things first, right now I'm enrolled in ASCN 4013, which is Aerospace Propulsion. This is a senior level course offered both semesters. Um, it's capped at 120 people, so only half the class gets in, which forces the other half to take it in the spring. Um, right now I am enrolled in this class. It is an 8.30 a.m., three days a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This will be my first aerospace class I've had without a lab since my freshman year, which is insane. Um, a few perks of taking this class in the fall. I can get it over with, which is really nice, um, and that takes that weight off my shoulders in the spring. And if I do fail this class, this allows me to take it again in the spring. Um, like I've mentioned, thermodynamics is not my strong suit, and that is one of the two prereqs for this course. Um, so I, I'm assuming it's going to heavily build on thermo. The other class I will be taking um, that is required, like I mentioned, is that senior design course, which is ASCN 4018. So this has um, four hours of lab every week on Monday and Tuesday, and then two hours of lecture every week on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, you do get a little bit of say as to which lab section you get to be in or you want to be in if you register earlier enough. Um, I actually switched mine, so I initially was in the earlier Monday-Wednesday lab slot. I decided to switch just because I, I don't know, just some, some reasons to say the least. Um, I just decided to do the later one so I could have my tubers in the morning, which I felt like worked better for my schedule. The other aerospace class on here that I've decided to take for sure that is not required is ASCN 4138, and this is aircraft design. Um, I am so excited for this class. Now, I'm not really sure if this will help me pick out what I want to do for grad school at all, um, just because there might be some autonomous systems e stuff in there. I'm not really assuming there will be, but I do think there will be some fluids work in it um, to an extent, which is something I definitely am interested in. I long term want to be doing something with UAV design, um, whether that be VTOLs or whatnot. Um, I really think there's a lot of potential for VTOLs in particular with search and rescue scenarios, um, and that's ultimately what I would like to do my like PhD work in to some extent. However, I could choose to go the more fluids route and work on the design and whatnot of that, or I could do the controls route and work on, you know, designing the, um, essentially the brain of what goes on behind the scenes of that aircraft. Um, so I really think this 4138 aircraft design class could be really cool to help me figure out um, if I like the design work more. So very excited for this class. This class apparently also doesn't have exams, which would be really cool. Um, so we'll see how that goes because I think that would be so nice to just like have a class that I'm solely there to do labs and enjoy and learn from without the pressure and the stress of exams. Um, I don't know, that just sounds like a fun, enjoyable senior level class. And then right now I am also enrolled in two comp sci classes. Um, Let's see. <laughs> I don't remember the course codes. CSEI 3002 is Fundamentals of Human-Computer Interaction. Um, this is a class that I, I don't know, I, I definitely have a lot of mixed feelings about. Um, ultimately, when I first went to register for classes, my priority was get the comp sci minor done. I don't care if I don't learn much from it, just get it done, just get like the name and the title of having a comp sci minor. Um, this class is apparently the easiest upper division comp sci class you can take. I've heard it's more of like a humanities class than a comp sci class, which at the time sounded really nice. Um, I'm now getting to this point where maybe it'd be more beneficial for me to take a robotics class or something of the sort that could really help me figure out what I wanna do for grad school. Um, so we'll see. I am registered in this class, like I mentioned. Um, there are 75-minute lectures Tuesday, Thursday, and then a 50-minute recitation Thursday afternoon. Um, we'll see. We'll see kind of what I end up doing with this, like I mentioned. Do I take the route of do I actually want to learn something and kind of struggle through a class, or do I want an easy A? We'll see. 
Um, and then the other comps I class I have right now is CSCI 3287. Um, this is 75 minutes, Tuesday and Thursday. This is the design of database systems, I think is what it's called. Um, we'll see. I, like I said, I have a lot to kind of figure out. I think, um, this 3002 class is really up in the air for me right now just because I could learn a lot more from a class like a robotics class that has more autonomous systems applications, um, which ultimately would help me figure out what I want to really do for grad school. And that's also something that could maybe help me get into grad school. So having a class like a robotics class, um, if I want to pursue autonomous systems, could really help. There's also another class I'm debating taking, um, but right now I am enrolled in 17 credits and 19 is the maximum you're allowed to take as a student without like approval. Um, and that class is, I don't even remember the code. It's a grad class, so that's all I know. I know who teaches it. I'm in his class right now and I love it. It's a, I'm not doing very well, to be honest. Um, okay. ASCN 5254 Algorithmic Motion Planning is a comp sci class taught, my, taught by my current aircraft dynamics professor. Um, I love him. He's amazing. I really like my aircraft dynamics class. It's definitely not an easy class, I'd say. It just boggles my mind sometimes how different some of my aero classes are. Um, so aircraft design, sorry, aircraft dynamics and Thermodynamics are polar opposites in so many different ways. The content, the way the class is delivered, um, kind of what you're expected, um, how you're tested, that sort of thing. So um, we'll kind of see how, how that ends up going. But I'm debating whether or not I want to take that, in which case I probably would end up dropping propulsion just because that's a lot of aero classes. Um, there's also the intro to robotics class, which is also a 3000 level class, which could be really nice because that would also count for that upper division comp sci credit that I need. But, um, I've heard that class is not easy. So just to recap, because I know this is confusing unless you're like totally understanding what's going on. There are two air classes I'm for sure going to take, uh, aircraft design and then senior design. I'm debating when to take propulsion, whether that will be in the fall or in the spring. I'm debating whether or not to take a grad level aero class. I'm debating which comp sci classes, if I wanna take any comp sci classes and how many. Um, and those, that whole combination of things will sort of dictate when I take propulsion, if I take that grad class and what comp sci classes I do end up taking. Um, so in the next, I don't know, week or so, I do not have very much time. I really need to sit down and figure out, do I wanna take a summer class? I think is the biggest thing. Um, me taking a summer class this summer would open up a lot of freedom and flexibility for me to take that grad class without taking 18 credits next semester push some comp sci classes to the spring um, or propulsion to the spring with also without also causing me to take 18 credits then or some insane course load. My senior year, I really want to have more balance and a big part of that is me, A, I'm gonna work less um, and B, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna take any classes senior year that I either don't have to or I'm not interested in. Um, and so I, like I said, a lot of that comes down to these comp sci classes. Robotics I would get a lot more out of, um, but it also could be quite challenging and it's not something I am like, ooh yeah, I'm gonna love that. But there's also a chance I might where fundamentals of human computer interaction, yeah, it might be an easy A, but it could be the most boring class in the world. Um, and that's really not how I wanna be spending my last year of undergrad, so. Got a lot to think about. Um, you'll kind of see on my uh, my schedule here. I kind of tentatively have I don't know some work and whatnot built into there. Um, 
and time at the barn that is something i have really prioritized this semester was going to the barn two to four or five times a week um and i've loved that that is not something i've been able to do since what high school um and i really want to make that a, a you know a huge priority next year just because i don't know what grad school will look like so um with that being said i hope you all found this interesting um let me know if you have any questions on my schedule i don't know being an aerospace student being almost a senior which is insane all that sort of thing um i hope you all have a great day and i will see you all next time peace out Bye.